Thank you, Hillel. I just now decided to forego what I prepared. Um, my prepared speech would talk about myself. I think there's more important message I want to give than myself, and I want to focus on the situation in China. Um, China under Xi Jinping is showing all aspects of a fascist state. Xi Jinping's fascism is a real, clear, and a present danger to free societies everywhere. 70 years ago, the crimes of Nazi Germany led the international community to embrace the principle of universal rights. But today, similar patterns have emerged in China. A single, all-powerful party, one paramount leader, total control over media, military aggression abroad, brutal suppression of dissent, creation of fictional external threats and enemies, and jingoism and strident nationalism masquerading as a foreign policy. After the Holocaust of the Jewish people under Hitler, we vowed never again. But among the post-war atrocities that belie that pledge, we today must add the re-education concentration camps where more than one million people, one-tenth of the Uyghurs, are detained. This is a, a mature fascism combined with communism, crony capitalism, and 1984 digital totalitarianism. I call it fascism with Chinese characteristics. 70 years ago, political leaders and civil society rose to the challenge of their times and promulgated the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Surely we, with their work as our foundation, with our united effort, and with the support of the world's democracies, like everyone here, can rise to the most daunting challenge of our times, that is to defeat the fascism with Chinese characteristics and ensure freedom for us all. Thank you.